Uh, in this uh, tutorial, we're looking at resources and URLs and URI and URN. Uh, so let's start with resources. What are resources? Um, the best way to start this is to head for Google and search for flowers and wiki wikipedia and now uh, click on the first one here and we present it with a page uh, about flowers from wikipedia and uh, this page is considered to be a resource because the reason we go on the internet and the reason we browse the internet is to look for something and that something is called the resource so we try to find resources and this these resources can be many things sources are hosted by web servers they are saved there they are stored there a web resource is a source of web content so in this case uh, this is a page about flowers so the content here is about flowers and you notice it has images and uh, content uh, details data about flowers uh, information and the simplest uh, kind of web resource is a static uh, file such as this one or can be plain text without images as well uh, and uh, they are on the web server's file system now these uh, files can contain anything they can be music they can have jpegs they can have text or they can have uh, downloadable files such as pdf uh, they can even have uh, forms uh, so they are dynamic and we can uh, send data back to the server they can have such uh, such things as a shopping cart like amazon where we can click on things and save them in a basket or it can be a library for books however resources don't have to be static files as i mentioned resources can also be software programs that generates content on demand for example i can click uh, on my back account withdraw money this and that and then or buy stocks shares and uh, now if i uh, click uh, here on uh, on this image here as you can see i'm presented with with an image here made of several flowers and you can see here the image uh, the jpeg is here so this this is considered to be a resource um, let's duplicate this tab and uh, go back to the previous uh, uh, resource or web page and notice here we don't see the the scheme or the method uh, which is HTTP so the reason being is is not showing uh, it's there but it's just the browser is not displaying it but if you see if I control C for copy and I paste it here or the scheme is showing uh, we will be discussing this uh, in this tutorial this is uh, the protocol uh, we are using one final thing on this uh, I will show you is if we scroll down the, on this page and say we click on evolution and you can see uh, this takes us into this section but this section is on this page is residing on this page so this is a link to that section now this is also considered a resource and if I copy this and I email it to a friend and he clicks on it he will, he will be directed directly to this section on this page so let's try this let me put that in here paste enter and here you go we're going straight down to this section of the page so that's also uh, this uh, this uh, here this uh, this URL is considered uh, a resource this one as well so is this one so is uh, this one because this one is returning to uh, this page so this page is a resource uh, also let's look at this uh, website here uh, this link here and this link uh, take us to this video on YouTube and uh, this is a video about football about Neymar and again as you can see our resources can be fun can be videos can be images can be painting can be anything you like um, and uh, looking at this I would like to bring out this uh, URL here have you look at this at the top and uh, mention this bit here the question mark V equal and some sort of string uh, this is a, a variable the V is a variable represent a variable the equal mark and the string represent the, the value 
So these are always in pairs, and that's a question mark. Uh, all I'm trying to do here is to bring your attention to this, which I will be discussing later, but this is called the query string. And this can be attached to the URL. A URL is made of the method, the protocol, and sometimes this is referred to as the scheme. Then here we've got the address, the website, or if you like, where uh, our uh, resource is hosted. This is a port number, and this is port 80. By default, this is 80, so uh, we can omit this. If this is the path on the server, and this path is the directory where the resource is located at. You can think of the address here as a uh, if you are from Java or C Sharp, as a package, if you like. Uh, I like to uh, compare it to a package. So every uh, resources on the internet has a unique URI, if you like. And that's why I, I compare this to a package. Now, a URL in this bit is the, is the scheme or the method, plus the address of the hosting server or the website, if you like and the path on the server where this resource is while the URN is only this bit here does not include the, the method or the scheme the following slides and as you can see here again these are the protocols so we mentioned we're using HTTP but you can have uh, different type of protocols looking at this slide here again this is a scheme so we are interested in HTTP protocol in this uh, in this uh, lecture. Uh, this is the host or the where where the resource is being hosted. So that's why it's called it's called the host. This is the port number the host or the web server is listening onto. This is the path on the server, and you can notice that this is a fragment identifier and is embedded inside the HTML file. In that case, the path will include also the HTML file. Uh, this should conclude this tutorial. Bye for now.